Hi guys, Mike Day here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In today's video, I'm going to break it down for you. How to form a concrete slab. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Mike Day here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. Now in today's video, we're going to talk about how to form a concrete slab. Now before I get started, just let me say, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated with more of my upcoming videos, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification also. That'll, that'll give you a notification when my next video comes out. Alright guys, so... If you want to learn how to form a concrete slab, then you can, you can go here to my website, everythingaboutconcrete.com, and on this page here, Forming a Concrete Slab, I kind of break it down to you how to do a basic concrete slab. So let's get started here. Now the first thing you got to do is, you know, obviously you got to know the size of your slab, and when you do, you want to you want to make sure the subgrade, the subbase, or the gravel is good and level and compacted. Uh, we don't want a we don't want a subgrade that's two or three inches out of level or one that's soft. It needs to be really hard packed and it needs to be level, guys. So that's number one. Good hard compacted subbase. Number two is once we know the size. Like this one here is 24 feet by 24 feet, just a simple garage slab. We want to get our boards laid out. Um, this was a six inch slab, so we were just using two by sixes for boards. So we get our, our boards laid out, and I like to have my boards at least an inch and a half longer than the slab size. So this side here would be 24 feet, one and a half inches, and the same with the other three sides. That gives me enough board left over to screw my corners together so number three is when we go to when we go to screw the boards together so I, I might have a 14 footer here and a, a 10 footer let's say or a 12 footer and a 12 footer I gotta screw those boards together so I I like to have what's called a short piece or a scab board here that's about two feet long and I put over the seam and uh, that's how I screw them together now once, or I could nail them together, once all the sides are, are nailed together, I can stand them up on edge, and then I measure out the exact length. So I get the board stood up on its edge, I hook the tape on one end, run it down all the way down the other end, and mark off my 24 feet, and I'll do that around all four sides. So now I know exactly where to screw my corners together. The next thing, once you have the four corners screwed together, the next thing you need to do is square the slab. And what I mean by square the slab is you don't want the same dimension from corner diagonally to the other corner as you do from, from the next corner all the way to the, to the next front corner. So you want to take your tape measure and measure diagonally from the back corner diagonally across to the front corner and get your measurement. Then you want to go from the other back corner and measure diagonally across to the opposite front corner. Those two measurements need to be the same. So if they're not, then you need to adjust, you need to slide the board back and forth one way or the other, either right or left, until you get the same measurement from one corner diagonally across to the other corner diagonally across that means your slab is square now you can start pinning the corners what we normally do is once it's square we'll we'll start pinning each corner one pin on each side of the corner and we'll do that to all four corners and once we have that done then we can screw a either a screw or a nail 
in the top of the board on each corner. So I'll have one here, one here, one here, and one here on each four corners. Then I'll run a string line all the way around. And that's what we use that, to straighten the boards as we finish driving in these stakes you see here. So we'll finish driving in all the pins, the boards are straight, and then once they're in place, we set up the laser level like this, and we set all the boards to grade. So I'll go around and, and I have a video on this is how to use a laser level. You can check out also. I'll have a link to that in the description. And I, speaking of the description, I also have, I, I got a new course that I made how to form and pour a concrete slab, like just like the pros do. I'll have the link to that down in the description also if you want to take that course. That's, it, it breaks it down step by step in video of how to successfully form and pour a concrete slab, just like we do. Um, so when, once we have the boards all pinned and strung, it's time to set them to grade. And we'll go around, we'll check the subgrade, we'll get an average of the level of the subgrade, and then we'll move our slab grade up six inches on the grade stick. And we'll use the, the laser and the grade stick to go around and set the forms to grade. And once we set the forms to grade, guys, that's pretty much it. You've now got it formed and you're ready for concrete. So your next step would be calling up the concrete company, telling them how many yards you need, what day you're going to pour, and then you're ready to pour, guys. Well, that's it. That's the basics on how to form a concrete slab. Um, down in the description, like I said, I'll have, I'll have the course on how to do that. And I'll have the link to this page if you want to refer back to this page. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Hi, everybody. Don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.